Hello and welcome to the third episode of the Coromil Plura Insights broadcast on high feed side milling. In the first two episodes, we dealt with groove and pocket milling. Now we will talk about high feed side milling. This process is an interesting alternative compared to conventional milling, giving you greater flexibility, especially in difficult to machine materials. However, finding the right strategy and tool could be challenging. Here, again, our Coro Plus tool guide is the simple solution to get a productive, cost-efficient, and secure process for this specific task. First, let's briefly touch on the theory of the high feed side milling. So, why high feed side milling? Why should we apply this method and what's the advantages of high feed side milling? With high feed side milling, we have very small engagements that allows us for higher feed rates. Also, short contact time. This gives us the opportunity to have higher increase the cutting speeds, reduce forces, lower loads on the machine and workpiece, smaller chips, which means a good chip evacuation, effective use of the cutting length and longer tool life, reduce thermal induction, which is a crucial factor, especially when machining super alloy materials. Here, in order to effectively machine and super alloys components, it is very good to have dedicated tools for titanium alloys and dedicated tools for nickel-based alloys. Here we have from two times diameter up to four times diameter dedicated tools and high feed side milling for different materials from ISO S, ISO K, ISO M, and ISO P. A little more information on how to use and the basis of high feed side milling. If you machine an, a slot with the method of high feed side milling, the golden rule to remember is that the diameter of your cutting tool to not exceed 70% of your slot diameter. Here, the advantage is that you can use the limit of your APMX, the limit of your flute length and the depth of cut. And in order to take advantage of all the benefits that we explained earlier, we do not recommend that you exceed 20% of your diameter of radial engagement. So let's take a look at our example that we have choose for today. We have stainless steel material and we would like to produce a slot that is 16 millimeter width by 20 millimeter depth and 20 millimeter length. Let's see how tool guy can help us here. And we will begin with our tool by entering the part number on the search function. And we see we have here a core mill plura solid carbide end mill for high feed side milling. Right below, all the geometrical information is for all of our tools, including uh, step models 2D and 3D. And now we continue with calculating cutting data. We click on it, and this will take us to tool guide. And we see here. Our tool is pre-selected, so it's pinned to our application. We move on by selecting our material. And we have a stainless steel material. We click on it, and next is task. And our task is to machine a slot with one open end. Here we have it. And we have a depth of 20 millimeters with 16, length 20, and the corner radius is already selected, it's 8 millimeters, and now we turn on the dynamic milling function. And we are ready to get results. We uh, see here a quick view of the results, but we'll go to show details. And we see we got 95 meters of surface speed with a feed per tooth of 0 0.039 uh, corresponded RPM in the table feed and uh, radial engagement AE and millimeters 
0.588, so a almost 10% of our cutter of diameter 6 engaged with each bat. So we're taking a full depth of 20 millimeters with a radial engagement of 0.588 per pass. We also see the cutting power, so we have a very low cutting power. This is also be easy on small machines as well. And we can also take a look at the cost efficiency data. And we see it takes 41 seconds per slot and a total number of futures, so estimated to life, we have 230 slots. Now we got uh, all of the information we need and we are ready to see it on the machine. So let's take a look. What we have seen with the help of the Coroplus tool guide is that we can easily find a safe solution for this complex high feed side milling process. If you are interested in more information on this topic, visit our website or contact your Sanvi Corma representative. We hope we gave you interesting insights into high feed side milling. We now like to invite you to the next episode where we will give you some interesting insights on thread milling. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.